all three of them were from the U.S. Forest Service. And this evening, 20-year-old Tom Bashevsky, 26-year-old Andrew Zajak, and 31-year-old Richard Wheeler. Chebesky was the only son of two U.S. forest workers. Firefighting was in his blood. While I feel that that's an interesting legacy, I would trade it in a heartbeat if we could have him here with us. And tonight, he and his two firefighting brothers were brought back through the town that they died trying to save. KXY Force John Hendricks was there for the somber processional honoring those fallen heroes. The outpouring of support here in Twisp has been incredible for these firefighters. There are these flowers and a sign that says, Our Heroes Rest in Peace. Now, earlier today, those firefighters were brought down from where they lost their lives, and they will soon be laid to rest. The streets of Twist are lined with signs like this, thanking the brave men and women who were on the front lines battling the numerous fires burning across central Washington. This community paused and stood at attention for a brief moment Thursday afternoon as the bodies of three men killed fighting these fires were brought down from the fire lines. Their lives have touched so many in this small community, so many hearts broken over the tragic news. Just devastating that, you know, they're out there putting their lives on the line so the rest of us can keep our houses. You know, our houses seem pretty insignificant at that point. Throughout the day, several people stopped at the makeshift memorial for the firefighters in Twisp. They dropped off flowers, said a prayer, and paused to honor them. Reporting from Twisp, John Hendricks, KXOI 4 News.